Alright guys, this is going to be the start of my gargoyle care video. Um, I've decided to start with um, how to build an enclosure for a gargoyle gecko. Um, this is my first enclosure building video, so uh, enjoy. Um, I'm starting with a bare bin and uh, some lengths of bamboo. Um, I've cut these to size to fit um, this in uh, container. I have another piece right here. And then once they're in place, um, I did a ring of hot glue and then once that sets, I'm going to do one more, and this should keep it stationary enough until um, I do a cleaning. Um, hot glue is great because if you pull on it hard enough or put enough pressure, I can actually uh, break these or pop these right out of here, scrape the glue off, and then reposition them. So if I decide to change this later, um, that's what I'll do. Okay, I'm going to put the second pole in and then we'll go from there. Alright guys, and then this is Bebop. Um, you guys have seen her before. Uh, she's a female uh, red blotch reticulated gargoyle. Uh, she started out on the orange side and has progressed to red. Uh, you guys can see she's got the trademark uh, baby blue gargoyle eyes. And she's a decently calm gecko. I mean, uh, she's a 30 gram female, or nearing 30 grams. I think she's uh, about 28, so pretty close. And she's pretty mellow. I'm hoping this is on camera. But this is uh, your average garg. Um, she's not aggressive. She's not super flighty. Um, they're about the same as a crested. They just kind of like to to chill out on you. Eventually, you be just you just become kind of like a a moving branch to them. So uh, this is how she is all the time. You're gonna jump. Pretty easy going. She's a nice girl. Uh, as you guys can see, as she got older, she got a ton of color. So she is just a, a fabulous girl, and she will be um, a breeding gecko next year uh, with my male cowboy. So I'm going to pop her in her brand new enclosure, and uh, we'll let you see how it looks. Okay, and there we have it. This is all finished and put together. Um, we've got a vine right here that goes back behind this plant. Um, it goes all the way down into the corner over there so she can hide um, on the behind the plant and still be on the vine. Then we've got our two pieces of bamboo through here, nice and stationary. And then um, a couple different types of egg crate. This is your traditional egg crate. Um, this blue piece back here is what's used for fruit, like apples, so I get that from the restaurant where I work. Uh, food dish, water dish, um, I use peat moss, or sphagnum peat moss and um, eco-earth mixed as a substrate. I want to keep that moist. Um, rocks for decoration, and then um, I'll step back and show you how much room she's got. And there we have it. So then um, I still would like to get one more plant for this top corner over there that'll hang down so she'll have some more foliage to hide in during the day but since she is nearing the 30 gram mark I thought it was about time to move her up into a bigger bin uh, these are 18 gallons so this will be her adult um, enclosure and that's how it's gonna look so she's gonna go on the rack next to Bebop or uh, Bebop next to Sookie who's also in a blue bin and uh I'll keep you updated on her progress, but man, is she pretty today. Tamale Red, my pretty, pretty girl. So there's um, a little bit of garg care, I guess. You want more perches in their enclosure because they can't stick to um, glass the way Cresteds can. And then care, uh, feeding-wise, Crested Gecko Diet, uh, you know, a dish of fresh water. You want to miss these guys once a day. And then most gargoyles do not eat live food. Uh, you'll occasionally get um, a couple individuals that do like it. So you can try offering crickets or roaches, especially to younger animals that are still growing. And um, that's about it. Same as the crested. They're great geckos. And uh, since I have more room in the reptile room now, um, all I'm waiting on is just the money to be able to buy some more. So absolutely gorgeous. Thanks for watching, guys. Alright, here she is on the rack next to Sookie and Vampire Bill. 
So uh, it's looking nice, the bamboo and the blue motif carried over. Um, but one last thing I wanted to mention is uh, temperature. Gargoyles do like it. You can see she's not really sticking to the glass back there. Sweetheart, you've got all sorts of stuff to climb on. Gargoyles do like it a little bit warmer than Cresteds. Um, I find that she eats best right around 80 degrees, whereas Cresteds like it a little cooler. Um, I keep my, my uh, gecko room right around 78 degrees uh, as a standard temperature, and it seems to work well with all of the species, but gargoyles can be kept a little warmer, and they do seem to grow better a little warmer. So. If you guys have any other questions about gargoyle care, uh, feel free to post them below the video and um, I'll get those answered for you. Thanks for watching.